Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, the best place for all things sewing. I'm Katrina, and today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to do the cute thumb hole cuffs on the Kanai hoodie. It comes in women's and children's sizes, and we'll link the patterns down below in the description box. Let's dive in. All right, the pattern will let you know how to cut your fabric, but for the thumb hole cuffs, you're gonna want two thumb hole panels and it is cut on the fold and four of the thumb hole cuff pieces. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take your thumb hole panel and fold it right sides together along the fold where you cut it. And we're gonna sew with a 3 8 seam allowance in between the marks that you transferred from your pattern piece. Now that we have this sewn, we're gonna trim this seam allowance down. But you're gonna wanna not do it all the way to the end of these stitches. You're gonna wanna leave a quarter of an inch past your marks um, left over and then trim the seam allowance in between. All right, now that you've trimmed, it's gonna look like this and we're gonna turn it right sides out. We wanna pull this seam allowance out when we turn it. All right, now it looks like this, and we're going to set this aside and work on the thumb hole cuffs. With your thumb hole cuff pieces right sides together, you're gonna to wanna to lay it flat on top of each other. And on the left side only, we're only working on the left side on both of these pieces. We're gonna sew with a 3 8 seam allowance, making sure to backstitch at the beginning and end in between these two center marks. We're not gonna go all the way to the outside marks, just the center marks. Now that we have it stitched between these two center marks, we are going to open it up so we can see our right sides. It'll look like this. We're gonna take our thumb hole panel piece with the fold on the top, and we're gonna put this right up against where we stitched. This is gonna form our thumb hole. So with the top, you're gonna put it right up, butt it right up against where you started stitching and pin it into place. And then you're gonna take this bottom part and butt it right up against where you stopped stitching. And take your thumb hole cuff and we're gonna fold it back right sides together so that your thumb hole panel is sandwiched in between. Now that it's pinned in place, we're gonna sew in between the two marks that we transferred to our, from our pattern piece. Now that we have it sewn between the two marks, we're gonna open it up so that we can see our panel and you can see that your thumb hole is starting to form. Now we're gonna sew the right side of our thumb hole cuff. So lay it out flat again. This part's gonna bunch up and be a little bit weird, but just trust me. It'll work. <laughs> Take the right side of your thumb hole panel and the top, this is the fold right here. We're gonna line this up with the marks that we transferred from our pattern piece. And we're gonna take the bottom edge of the panel and line it up with the marks on the bottom part. We're gonna stretch the side of our panel to fit and if you need to, go ahead and clip this curve. It'll help it lay flat. Just make sure you don't clip farther than the 3 8 seam allowance so you don't have those clips showing. And pin it in place. Now that our panel is pinned in place with the right side of our cuff, it's bunched up, but we're gonna take this top part of the cuff and we're gonna line it up 
right sides together with this right side. Just go slowly and pin all the way around and it will line up. I know it's bunched up, but just go slow and do one section at a time. All right, now that we have it all pinned in place, on the right side of our cuff, we're gonna sew from the bottom mark all the way up around to where we started sewing on the left hand side. So we're gonna go up and over the top of the cuff. All right, now we're gonna trim the seam allowance down to an eighth of an inch from where we started sewing all the way around to the other side. All right, now that that's trimmed, we're gonna pull the cuffs in the opposite direction. And we're gonna line up the, these edges, right sides together. So you have a V. And we're gonna sew on each side, starting at the top and going down towards the center, moving the seam allowance out of the way and you don't wanna sew through it, just down to where you stop sewing on both sides. So you're gonna start at the top, sew down towards the center of the V. If you're getting value from this content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to join the family. All right, now we're gonna press the seam allowance open so that it'll lay nice and flat when we turn it right side out. I'm just gonna finger press it right now for this video, we're going to turn it right side out. So you'll take one side of the cuff and fold it over the other. Now that it's turned right side out, we're gonna press it flat and then we're gonna do a tack stitch at the top of your thumb hole and at the bottom to help reinforce that hole. All right, at this point, you can go ahead, it's optional to top stitch along these seams to give it a nice finished look. And we're going to repeat exactly the same thing with the other cuff. When you're done with that one, if it looks like you have two of the same hand because your thumb hole, the panel goes on your palm. So if it looks like you have two of the same sides, it's a really easy fix. You just take your panel and flip it around. And now you have one for each line. So you'll have one for each arm. And go ahead and attach your cuffs per the instructions included in your pattern and then finish up and you are done. We can't wait to see your finished hoodies. Make sure to share them with us in our Facebook group or on Instagram at hashtag New Horizon Sewing. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to see your new hoodies. Make sure you share them with us in our Facebook group or on Instagram, hashtag New Horizons Sewing. We'll see you next time.